We are going to get underway here. Let's see what these players can do. Let's see what magic they can bring to the game. Now I'm just thinking that uh, Julius is actually going to be HP. If there's any confusion there, that is where, the, where it comes from. But it is underway here. RSC Premier All-Stars best of five. I'm not entirely sure what the name change is about, but... We'll, uh, we'll deal with it and hopefully not start to say jewels and continue to say HP as we go along. A nice passive play does open up between the all star blue side, but it's cut out. Straight to the midfield for your time to take a shot. Flicks it, causes a double commit, and allows Zeph to go for one, but CB somehow recovers, showing off some of that defense that was uh, was so prominent throughout the uh, the Premier Playoffs. This one, another one taking a shot out. Oh my jewels lord. To HP. Just about saves that one, a strike from Zeph. And that uh, you can clearly see both sides taking this somewhat seriously, as opposed to the uh, the elite matchup that we had just prior. And that uh, neither side wanting to be scored on this early. Really, really true. And, you know, I, I do quite wonder in the, if they're in these players' minds thinking, OK, they just announced a pro team. Maybe we do want to actually show what we're made of. Is HP is going to go for a bit of a ceiling for Lip. Been able to find it. CB's going to keep that pressure on for the All Star Blue side. Spectre following it up in that Mustang. It's a nice control, throwing off the defense completely, but Yotam recovers nicely. HP with the early challenge. Chris B on defense. He's going to be challenged by Spectre. Look for the double tap. Can't find it. It's a bit awkward. Bouncer off the corner. It's going to be something special. Wasn't able to turn it into anything. Spectre having to rotate back. Puts the pass though into the center. Not enough power behind it. CB's going to put it off the backboard. Zeph reading it nicely. and this is something that Prem players are so good. The defense is just clinical. All the time. And whenever they make a miss or uh, don't position correctly or make a bad rotation, it's generally quite rare. And I think it's when it's a situation that they genuinely can't do anything about, like they have no choice. But whenever they have agency, they almost always seem to make the right decision. And, uh, Defenses tend to win out in that situation, but Spectre with a nice flip reset gets challenged early. And uh, that's the difference it can make sometimes for this 
skill level, it's recognizing when your opponent's going to make a play such as that. They're all so good at doing it themselves that they are able to defend against it. It's just instinct at that point. I was deaf with the counter-attack. That's what, yeah, that's what fakes uh -huh. deception could come in. This one, a nice pinch. Looking for the Cuxier pinch, I think, but it's a little high and crispy somehow ready off the ceiling. This was straight to the mid. Spectre's going to be there first. Looking for the double tap, not quite got the angle for it, but HB takes control of it on the edge of the box. Doesn't find any sort of shot. Charlie be leaving it through the middle for Spectre to go for another flip reset. Managed to get it, but not quite what he was looking for. Zeph cuts him out now. Two minutes left of this game, and it's looking like all Star Blue have had the better of things. Red can't seem to quite find the coordination through the mid that they're looking for, but I think as the series goes on, they'll, uh, they'll start to understand each other and adapt much better. Indeed they will. I mean, they're, they're the Tibbity top for a reason. Their adaptability is, must, is absolutely noteworthy in this game. Definitely finding the momentum of the teammates is something that these guys will be very experienced in doing. Spence is going to go up for the shot, though. Plays off the side, looking for the redirect, and he's been so impressive going for these mechanical plays over and over again. Seems like just a matter of time, but a passing play is going to be linked up with Yotam, who's going to be putting that shot in. Uh, after all the pressure from All-Star Blue, they haven't been able to find the back of the net, but uh, the efficiency from All-Star Red capitalizing on it, on the counter-attack. One goal for them as we are approaching the minute marker. Charlie B just caught out ever so slightly there, pushed up narrowly too far, and uh, could not react to that ball getting into the air. It's beaten pretty easy, but it's not a mistake that we see quite often, and that one barrels through, makes up for it, redeems himself, and uh, slams it into the post, but it's got back into the mid for Spectre to take a shot at, and to finish it, top right bins, I'm not sure what vehicle that is, but it seems to be working out for him, and uh, it's, oh, something's just gone strange, I think... Uh, my connection's broken. No, here, no, I, I've seen something go as well. Oh, but it's that back was now. Very odd. That was very odd indeed. But they're going to be playing on. Uh, a bit <laughs> I don't weird know if moment. That was visible on stream, but. Um, I, I, <laughs> I think it was visible. I, I think uh, I think it was just a false start within uh, within the server, and it caused the cars to turn around. And I don't think the players really were. But, uh, you know, I don't think the players saw what we saw. I think maybe it was just a director bug happening. Uh, but at the end of the day, the game just goes on. 40 seconds and ticking right now. TB's going to find himself with the ball. Trying to play it around. Zeph, though, with the nice interception. He's going to be there. Plays it off the side. Almost getting the pass into the middle. Doesn't come to anything, though, unfortunately. However, that could be read by Spectre. Almost to find in the cherry picker redirect. At the end of the day, it's going to not going to come to anything. As HB is going to be rotating back. Uh, Zeph off that side. Ball puts into the centre. Look for the second touch. Does find it. Uh, Counter-attack opportunity for HP. Good challenge onto Crispy. He gets that read. Yotam is going to be there for the catch, however. Going to keep going. And he actually gets that beautiful flick. CB had to read that. Zev is going to be there looking for the fake, but read well by HP. He's going to be on the counter-attack. Ball goes up. Spectre's going to find the shot, but finds the bat ball instead. Ball's being kept up, though. They don't want it to end just yet. But as I'm saying that, an overtime for game number one. And no great surprise there. All these players... Phenomenal in their own right, and I think at this level, uh, there's less likely to be an issue with chemistry and understanding, because they're all so good as uh, as players and their ability to adapt to the situation. Spectre with a nice flip reset, HP, Ooh, and uh, I believe that is Geotam in a rule two situation, and then another one another between Stevie and Zeph. Something strange is happening right now. <laughs> We've got a one v one. Oh no, someone broke it between CB and Zeph. And it's ended up in a goal for Crispy. All-Star Red take the first game of the series. And I think there's some shenanigans happening right now. Hop. It does look like a few shenanigans. But still, it's good fun nonetheless. Uh, these players obviously enjoying themselves. I think that second rule one was Forster. You know, I don't think it was a accidental one. But still, nonetheless, great Rocket League. Seeing some nice finishes. And really, even when they're having fun, they look clinical which is you know so impressive mm -hmm. i think i figured out what's happening Hop. Mm -hmm. all the players are in the same vc they're in the hangout vc on the server and i think they're talking to each other not just to uh not just to their teammates and that uh that strange kickoff that we saw i think that was coordinated i think that was planned 
this may be a conspiracy here, and I might sound crazy, but we, we didn't have a connection issue. It was just that they all started driving in a circle for no reason. And uh, and then suddenly they uh, they started driving normally. So I think that was, they're trying to pull our leg off. They're trying to make us look silly. They are trying to make us look silly, but we will make them look sillier. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really know how, but we'll do our best, okay? I mean, it's I good fun. I appreciate the... Uh... I mean, these little, I, I must admit, I love how the flow of the All-Stars are going. You know, it is good to see. It's good to have fun, you know. As I said, me and Vector, so, we were so ser- so used to being serious, you know, in the casting desk. I want to keep something, you know, keep it on the straight now because people, our players are taking it serious. So it's nice to have a bit of fun on our end as well. And guys, if you can hear us, if you have the stream open, you guys, please, you know, maybe <laughs> let's, maybe can we have a freestyle off? You know, a let's have a freestyle battle. You know, he was going to win this. You know, taking turns freestyling. You know, taking turns freestyling. Let's have a look. Let's see what goes here. You know, so both players completely missed the kickoff. <laughs> and eventually, Yotam gets back to it. Zeph to the backboard. A double commit for this shot, and it ends up being crispy to beat out his teammate and get the first goal. And I think they kind of got the idea, Hope. But, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I want to see it more. I want to see some crazy mechan- mechanics, crazy mechanics coming out <laughs> from this lobby. I know you guys have all got it up your sleeve. Let's see what you can do here. This crispy is going to have plenty of boost. He's just going to get out and take his time. Go for a bit of a pogo. He doesn't find anything of it. The demo's coming out. It's just back and forth. Rocket Knight. So, so tense. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, if you guys can hear me, I mean, go ahead. Indescribable. That's it. It's just what Spectre's going the wrong way. Taking him to the backboard, Zeph pre-jumps him. And uh, as much as we want to see a freestyling show here, a, uh, a spectacle, an exhibition of these players' talents, none of them want to get scored on. Never, none of them want to get clipped on. And uh, I think they're showing that here. It's Chris with a shot to the backboard. No one will be there. And Spectre attempts to clear it out. But Zeph already jumping on him, pinches it to the backboard, and HP looking for a pass, forces a double commit. And it is just a bit of boomer ball. I think people looking for each other up the field, trying to go for some high speed cherry pickers. As Zeph gets challenged himself by HP, who has thankfully changed his name. I appreciate that. Uh, for our sakes, if, uh, if for no one else's. Spectre going off the edge of a cause. Another double commit. Charlie B has to get this away from three players. He's surrounded by red. But it's just going off the wall. Spectre takes it off the backboard. HP to clear it out. And yeah, it, it seems like they're just playing normal Rocket League at this point. Oh, but th- there's not all that much. No, but it, in it, terms it looks of like they're normal Rocket League, but it, it, it isn't. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> it just is. There's something off about it. We love to see it though. I love the shenanigans. I just find it so impressive that these players can, you know, be doing, you know, having fun, going, you know, playing a bit troll, but looks so calm and collected and, and so composed still on the field. Uh, and uh, they really should, you know, credit your credits to you. And shows the press and the level they're playing at. However, All Star Red are in the lead. Potentially going up 2 0 in this series. Now have to see how that goes. All Star Blue looking to do something of their own, but. Charlie B, not going to improve anything, but actually, I think my words of Spectre is going to come flying in for that shot. And put one on the board to tie it up. Zephyr, not with the best of touches, does set Spectre up there. <laughs> um, but still, I mean, it's good fun to be watching this. Yeah, and I'm just wondering if there is that, uh, that voice in the back of their mind that with the, um, with the pro team being announced, as you said, that they're still wanting to show themselves and hold themselves to a high regard. Uh, and that they can be professional even in a situation where they're not expected to be. And that they can play great Rocket League even when um, it's just for fun, just for show matches. HP here with a shot across the field. They take the lead halfway through this second game. Gets a nice shot from Crispy. And uh, gives a, a great pass back. <laughs> just, I don't know if this is sarcastic or wholesome, but I know they're all in the same VC. So, what what in the world they could be talking about? I don't know. It could just be a meme scrim to them, and uh, anything could be going on. It's a nice reset from HP. Looking for Spectre. Yotam does not allow it. Zeph's already up the field to go for a shot. There's no power. 
But Charlie B, all he can do is pre-flip this into his own net and lose that lead. I just, I just don't know what's happening anymore. It's not as bad as a lead. I've got. To I mean, it, yeah. It's, if know. they all turn to scarabs all of a sudden, <laughs> then uh, you know, it's going to be as round as my face is after shaving. <laughs> Till that. Um, but so two a piece. Uh, I'd love to see you. You know, you know, you know. What it does, the people don't really care what I love to see anymore. You know, we got treated last night to three bet game number fives. Uh, we're coming down to the wire. Now we're being um, punished for that. Uh, but still, nonetheless, it is happening. Two apiece. Under two minutes left on the clock. Uh, who's going to take this lead in the series? Or is it going to be tied up? Uh, in time will tell. BB, they're looking to do something here. I mean, what's crazy is that I know all these players, even though they're going mad, they all, you know, they're landing on their wheels. They're recovering so quickly, regardless oh, yeah. of what they do. And it's just second nature at this age. It's built in. It's, it's something that they've done so much that they. it's hard to play wrong because you always feel like you need to play right as uh, this play is done perfectly right. Nice pass from Zeph across to Crispy and then to Yotam. Not the greatest touch that uh, Yotam could have had, but Zeph found it easily and Charlie B not able to keep it out. Left is that third man again. He's been in that position quite a bit throughout this series. Seems to be having trouble with it, but off kickoff, HB could be having a shot here. Just leaves it for Charlie B, going for that double tap, and he finds it. Finally, some mechanics coming to to the fore in this uh, in this All Star matchup. Exactly one of what we wanted to see, and I'm starting to wonder if they may be some kind of gentleman's agreement to have an overtime in every single game. It's great for them. Um, I've got my booster jab at 11 p.m. So. Let's keep moving. Yes, at 11 p.m. is the only <laughs> slot I could find. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. Uh, the Spectre finding a shot of his own. Gets saved. Save. It was a beautiful save indeed. And, uh, you know, these guys really, really showing up to what you can do when your mindset is let's have fun. Look at there you go. They're really showing up suddenly here, especially. Spectre trying to make something happen. Look, you're getting bumped. You see, it's hardly <laughs> be, but then the save comes out from HP. These guys, they're just, they're like, too oh, slow. This, exactly, no, they're not too slow. They're like, this is how you can score in Rocket League. But then no, I mean, that's what it. HP was thinking. It's like, yeah. you, you're too slow, Spectre. You've got to shoot sooner, so it just takes the ball away from them. So, you know, it's, it's what low key, you know, Ooh. Rocket League 101. Spectre almost coming up with something magic. 30 seconds and ticking. Let's see if we can have a crazy moment to end this offer. Spectre flicks it forward. He's going to get bumped for his efforts, unfortunately. Zeph gets demo though in return. Off the side wall. See if you look for a cherry oh, picker. Does get the touch. Oh, Spectre almost finds the angle. Trying to pick it up just a little bit now. You can see them maybe not wanting to, you know, take it too much longer, but still, you know, Red Team have been defending very, very well. Yotan with an opportunity here. Great defense from Spectre off the ceiling to keep that away. HP's gonna pop it up. Gonna hit the backboard rolling down. Spectre's going to keep it up, going to bounce off the backboard, and it's going to be an overtime here. These players may be starting to turn up the heat just a little bit. We saw the back end there. As I said, with the lead, as it got to crunch time, when it actually mattered whether you'd win or lose, I thought that they, uh, their competitive natures would just take over. They wouldn't have much choice, and Seems to be that way a little bit for these Prem players. Crispy taking his time to take the ball up. Zephyr's pre-jumped, as did HP. Beats him with a flip reset. Somehow managing to get a touch on it, though. But Spectre not allowed to clear it out. Yotam through the mid, looking for that pass just straight down to a blue player. And a nice dynamic we've seen. We saw it, of course, in Elite, where there were four players on opposite teams that have been with each other throughout the regular season. We have Spectre and Crispy both on the side of 5 Vibe and they didn't do all, uh, well, they did quite well, they got to the lower final and it's this no mean feat. They finished third. Finished third. Right? Yeah, it's, it's a brilliant thing to do regardless, not quite what they expected or hoped for. Uh, now on opposite sides here, they both know each other so well and understand how to uh, play around one another. But uh, this time, locked in, <laughs> in horns it seems like, as uh, Charlie B and HB don't want to lose this one. Neither do Yotam or Zef. A tight overtime from the looks of things. Spectre trying to go for something crazy. He does get back to the ball. Forces a double commit as well, but it's a big clearance, and so they have time to rotate back out. 
And I'm expecting to see an overtime in every game of this series, Hop. If I don't, I'll be surprised. But this one could end here. It's Charlie B going for it off the bat wall. Doesn't hit it. That might have been a fake for HP to take a shot up, but doesn't find the double tap. And uh, both sides having a little bit of trouble scoring at the moment. Mm, it's difficult when you can't finish. Definitely having a problem here right now. Scrippy, Crispy is trying to make something happen down the field. Did a really good job of evading so many of the challenges from All Star Blue. In the end, it's going to be Charlie B coming away with it. Yotam gets demoed. Not Garthy. Garthy getting his touch, though. Better trying to get the redirect taken out of the air, though, by Zephyr. He pops it back. It's probably going to be expecting that Crispy was a little bit further back. However, doesn't turn it into anything. As Zephyr now, Crispy and Zephyr linking up well to keep the pressure on. CB was there to get that block and that touch. Respect is going to force the clearance. CB is there. Find the cherry pick. A HP was also up. But that touch from better or CB even not strong enough to get over to HP to finish that the CB is going to follow up once again maybe looking for a teammate to cut, cut, get that finish however both of them way too far up but HP doing such a good job being annoying on that front line especially going to keep the ball in the red half uh, but the clearance is there Zeph going forward plays it off the backboard CB there once again it is being not forward HP do anything with this now puts him towards the center nobody there to follow it up but it's still Three of Peter in two, almost three minutes of overtime. They're really starting to look for each other now, get some passing play going. As the uh, seconds tick away and this OT gets more and more tense, even in a relaxed situation such, such as this. They're all such competitive players and they don't want to be seen to lose at all. And, uh, whichever side's take, side takes this, I think we're we'll quite happy with the result. Going far into this overtime, Zeph. Taking the ball through the corner, HP's already challenging him, gets a touch, but he's going to be beaten on the 50. Spectre was mispositioned, as was CB, and Yotam has all the time in the world to do something with this, and just an easy air dribble to take this across. I think CB was low on boost. He got bumped in the mid, and then there was nothing in the, uh, the mid pads, nothing at the back post either, and it allowed Yotam a free and easy finish to take the second game of this All-Star match. And It's no surprise to me, really, that they're so tight so close we had a lot of defense in the first game and now just a bunch of offense in this second one i'm wondering what the third is going to bring and i just wanted to mention every time you see specter i get confused because it sounds so much like vector and i'm and i'm <laughs> it just throws me off a little bit every time i mean i'm confused as it is with, with what's been <laughs> happening within these all-star games um uh i'm fairly lost a little and my beard is uh, my face is cold I'm Not still slightly tormented by the scarabs. Um, <laughs> and now uh, Premier are uh, just memeing on us quite hard. Um, but uh, at least, uh, you know, the, the upside is they're in normal vehicles. You know, and that, that's, uh, that's something to be blessed and thankful about. Um, we haven't seen too much flair and, and, you know, kind of pizzazz from them just yet. I'm starting to question whether they have it in their locker. Yeah, that's a challenge, Premier players. You heard me. Um... But, you know, we shall see what happens in this game number three. I'm sorry, two got two zero up in the series, but it's good fun right now. They've really, it's been a been a pleasure to watch these guys kind of casually play this game, even at a, such a high level. It's a different way to look at it, yeah, the thing about it. We, I think we hold them to such a high standard uh, with the way that they play the game because they're in this highest tier. Because I mean, a lot of people look at the the 2k mark moniker as it were the, the supersonic legend uh, echelon of players and they just think oh they must be competitive all the time they must be super serious all the time uh, in order to even play at that level but they're still people you know they still uh, have personalities they're not just rocket league machines as much as they might appear to be on the field and we have to give them that as HP looking for a nutty looking double tap there Spectre with a nice redirect won't find anything either but we, uh, we have to cut them a little bit of slack. They need to relax sometime. They need to unwind. And just play a little bit of Rocket League for fun instead of for prize pools and for trophies. But uh, right now it's still tight as ever. And as you said, showcasing that skill that we know them for so much. And they're uh, hoping to beat their rivals in any way they can. Really, really true. Great reset from Zeph and holding on to it to fake out CB when flying past momentarily. Ooh. Good touch there from I don't know who that was exactly, but Yotam's found himself with the ball. 
Is the time going flying round almost a rule one, rule two between teammates it did happen. HP looking for the cherry picker, can't find it. Evie there to fill it off the bat ball. Creepy's defense too sharp for him. He's just going to also follow it up with a clearance at the end of the day. Spectre though keeping that pressure on. Good touch from Crispy to keep it out of Spectre's path. Uh, zero boost to recover there just now. HP with the shot off the bat ball. Double commit on defense. Uh, dangerous momentarily but uh, the demos were coming forward for this red side. Spectre now airing it forward. Pass over to CB. CB going to try and musty flick pass it to HP who pre-jumped. Oh that could have been something special. Unfortunately Femi are not pulling it off at this time. Crispy trying to make something happen for the red side right now. Yeah, we've seen it a lot more from Blue that they're going for crazy stuff. We've seen it so many times now. They're going for a psycho-esque redirect off the sidewall. Spectre's had the most success with it. Hasn't quite found the power necessary to get it though. And as you said, the pre-jump passing. Something we love to see. When it works, it looks absolutely gorgeous. When it doesn't, it can lead to situations like this. All three players are pushed up, thankfully for them. No counter from the red side. CB doing well to keep it in that half. Spectre with a shot as well, but Crispy plenty of boost to keep this one away. This is possession. HP ends up in a 1v1 situation. Can't find the flip reset. Looking for a quick musty. And it's not going to get anything behind it. Yotam is already up the field, getting bullied out by CB there. Something he did so much throughout the playoffs. And is utilizing it as well. Crispy looking for a bit of a doomsday dish. Doesn't have to finish it off himself. It will be a blue player to send that into his own net. A little bit unfortunate, but great recovery from Crispy and recognizing it was a, an open chance. Spectre panicking a little bit there. Yeah, I mean, the panic's not something we're used to seeing at this level, but nonetheless, there's a great finish coming out from these players. Uh, HP does find himself with the ball, going for the pop. Gets beaten out by Zeph in the end. With a minute and 45 left, and Zeph in the clock. There. Still plenty of time left to see some crazy stuff, but it is Wolf Star Red leading here. DB tries to get the pop, he does so. Finding Spectre. Crispy can't get that finish. CB's gonna go up for the ball, looking for Spectre down the field. Who's gonna be there off the backboard? Trying to make something happen. And odd, unfortunately. It's a dangerous scenario though. As Yotam now finds himself off the side wall. Looks for the pass over to Zeph. Zeph is there. Zeph gets the finish. But HB gets the save. Crispy defending as the counter attack from Spectre was leading. Although his teammates have rotated back in time now. The flip reset does come forward. Crispy though getting a beautiful defensive play to keep that out of harm's way there. However, he gets demoed brutally from our screen. Out of nowhere, just vanishing. And HB now trying to go for the shot. Crispy with a bit of an unorthodox save. Does make it work though as it pops up for his teammate. Also back over to Zeph who didn't get the touch that he wanted unfortunately. Still, we'd love to see that these guys are kind of coming up with some crazy stuff. Some crazy moves. Yeah, and I felt bad for Zeph on that play. Generally, when you make a pre-jump, you have to rely on your teammate to generate all the power. Like here, HP doesn't quite find what he was looking for. It was Sade, but Charlie B already up the field through the mid, just lurking there as that poacher waiting for this pass. It does end up in a 1-2-3 passing play, a little bit uh, unorthodox there. Wasn't expecting it to go down that way, but it ended up being a beautiful finish and a beautiful play. And it's led to a one goal, uh, just an equal game even. Charlie B not wanting another overtime, gets a brilliant fake, HP stops it though! He was already on the line and he just absolutely killed that clip. That would have been beautiful from CB. That was a ridiculous save coming out from HP there. Another one. <laughs> I mean, uh, somehow he took that out. In 10 seconds ticking, it doesn't look like another overtime. Spectre to getting a demo though, on to Crispy. Gonna give Blue a lot of space to work with. Yotam's gonna try and pull it out, he does so. Pops it over a second one as well. Oh. Can he go all the whole way? No, he can't get to the ball, unfortunately, and the overtime is gonna be here. Who is gonna take this? It's a moment amount of time, but a kickoff goal is not what we want right now. Inspector pops it off the side. DB's there, knocking it forward. Yotam's gonna meet it. So, then no. He is there, Zeph, for Zeph. Crispy getting a nice blocker. We saw HP coming from a mile away. HP's gone up again, plays off the bat ball. Then he finds the second touch, instead he leaves it for Spectre. Just a bit wide. However, there is a cherry pick opportunity here for Crispy. Puts it well oh, no. here, look for the double tap and he finds it! Crispy coming up with probably the best clip we've seen in these All-Star games. A, a beautiful cherry picker redirect there. And it's going to be 2-1 in favour of the All-Star Reds and with that, the series. Uh,
All-Star Red are going to claim your title of the All-Star Prem Champion. 3-0. <laughs> I mean, sweep. I don't really know what to say or what to think about this series. Because it about this evening, it has just been ridiculous. I mean, that's I think you've just got to roll with it. You just got <laughs> I don't know what you just gotta it accept here. it for what it is, you know, the good, the bad. Caught up in the matrix, have to keep waiting.